Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another video. So Longy Simulator has gone ahead and dropped personally, in my opinion, one of the biggest updates that they've gone ahead and done, which actually one of the major features that were included is actually right behind me right now. But honestly, that is one of the many things that have been changed because just as you guys guessed it, they have gone ahead and made a bunch of brand new secrets spread out throughout the entire map that I will be covering in today's video. On top of that, they have introduced a brand new pet rarity. If you notice over here, there is now a 0.5 percent chance to get a shiny which i do have 1325 gems that i'll be wasting in attempt to be able to get at least one shiny it doesn't matter what it is i just want to get at least one of them so with all of that being said let's go ahead and waste no more time and get right into this video as always if you're new to the channel please make sure to go ahead and subscribe and like the video if you do enjoy it it does help my content get out there and i would highly highly appreciate it so as i was mentioning before they have gone ahead and added a trading circle into laundry simulator where you'll be able to go ahead and oh wait wait a minute a truck has spawned is there anything good inside of this truck it doesn't really look like it. we got a bunch of silver some gold stuff yeah no nah, nothing worth my time all right we're going back to what we were talking about so as i was saying before inside of this trading circle you'll be able to go ahead and trade not only gems but also pets and limited time washing machines unfortunately you're not able to trade any of the ones that you buy from archie's shop but all of the limited time ones that are usually in this area right here or i guess previously before this update they were actually located on this side and honestly i know that i said unfortunately before but i think it's a great thing because obviously if the laundry machines in archie shop are tradable then anybody could go ahead and skyrocket all the way to the end and these limited time ones are actually pretty interesting because you do keep them after you rebirth which yes i know i'm fully aware i've read some of your comments i know i'm super behind on this game it's just that right now i'm kind of juggling between grinding a bunch of different games but i'm trying my very best to go ahead and make as much progress as i can on this game which actually i have gone ahead and made quite a bit so anyways the way that the trading circle works it's extremely simple you just go ahead and walk inside of here you have your friend or whoever the other individual that wants to trade you walk in here as well and then you'll be prompted to go ahead and send a trade request to that person which then they have to obviously go ahead and accept it now i do want to take this time to say a huge shout out to king Cade. i'm sure a lot of you know exactly who he is because he actually went ahead and gave me a level 14 pet which helped me out so much because i was able to get the brand new uber lava pet bed that was just added with this update the only way that you can get this is by having a level 10 pet or higher or obviously like in my case you can have somebody like a friend or something go ahead and trade you the pet and it will unlock the badge for you another thing that was also added was 10 brand new xxl washing machines so all of the ones that i'm showing you in the background right now are brand new the earth one clockwork bios xciv blue steel ruby emerald gold sapphire and the 100 but now i really want to get into the juicy stuff and the things that i really enjoy talking about here on the channel at least when it comes to laundry simulator and that is the brand new secrets that have been spread out throughout the entire map then obviously after that i'll go ahead and open up a couple of the pet crates to see if we get lucky and we can pull ourselves a nice maybe exotic shiny or an epic shiny i would keep it real with you i'll accept any shiny even if it's a common at this point so let's go ahead and get started with the store that is located in the back the most obvious thing that's gone ahead and changed here is the fact that this developer's chair has gone ahead and moved from right next to i believe this is simon i'm not 100 sure but i definitely know that this guy is peas pot but anyways it seems like his chair has gone ahead and moved over to the front of the shop and he is now orchestrating whatever type of little meeting is going on here aside from that another light has gone ahead and turned off on the archie's hardware store sign it's also probably been about a week or two since i make my last secret video and i still have absolutely no idea what it is that they're going with with the whole entire sign situation but i promise at the very moment that i get any type of lead i will rush to get a video out and let you guys know as far as inside of the shop nothing has really changed at least that i can see the only other thing that i found extremely interesting is the tiles on this little roof right here and the reason that i find these tiles so interesting is because they're more or less the same color as the rocks that have been getting changed over time if you notice there's a green one over there you got a blue one on this side and then the more obvious one being the red one over there i know that king Cade had a theory where it was very possible that this could be the sapphire one this could be emerald and then you have the ruby one on the other side the only one we're really missing is is probably the golden and silver one but i mean if you really want to be technical about it the silver one is kind of every single one of these rocks because they're all gray so technically speaking the only one that whoa i just kind of clipped through the roof what anyways as i was saying the only one that is missing is the golden one another thing that i also thought was really interesting is at the very end of the obby there is now not only that ladder that really didn't lead you anywhere but there's also a door now you can only really see it at nighttime so i'm probably gonna have to wait until the sun goes away 
perfect i can really show you guys and aside from the fact that the sun needs to be down i also need to kind of make it to the second platform which oh there we go i made it so i guess i'll just go ahead and kind of just i don't know hang out here until the sun goes away and we'll be right back all right so honestly that felt like it took an absolute eternity but if you look right over there there is now a brand new door right behind the ladder now, i'm gonna keep it 100 honest with you guys i'm not even gonna attempt this obby because i know i am going to fail at least a thousand times but if any of you do happen to make it to the very end over there i am very very interested to see what exactly is going on could this finally be the answer to that ban hammer that's hidden in the back if so make sure that you guys let me know in the comments or try and get in contact with me through discord i have my discord link in the description because man i want to know so bad can i make it to the next platform actually guaranteed i am going to miss this next platform watch this yep i missed there it goes goodbye but yeah man i think that that door is extremely interesting and i'm really curious to see who's going to be the first person to make it over there now there is a couple of other small little things that honestly i'm not entirely sure what they mean but i'm sure you guys can let me know in the comments the first one is inside of the pet shop if we go ahead and kind of glitch through this window right here you can see that right on top of this box right here there is now a pair of glasses if you remember before this update there was actually one of the pillows in this corner over here that belonged to one of the developers over by archie's hardware store now these glasses i'm not sure if maybe it belongs to one of them or who exactly these glasses belong to but they're here and that's all i know oh actually i'm completely blind dude they moved the pillow up here i just realized that now anyways the next thing that i want to show you guys is here at archie's store where you come to buy your washing machines if you go ahead and head around you'll notice that there is now a site just kind of leaning up against one of these laundry machines again not 100 sure what it means but it's there oh a sapphire sock i think i need this yes dude all i need is one more thing which i think it's the ruby underpants if i'm not mistaken because i i think these are the shorts so these are the underpants one more i know i'm late but i just need one more but yeah man that pretty much does it for all of the new little secrets that were hidden around the only other thing that i did notice was that they kind of flipped over the picture of the ceo of roblox not 100 percent sure why they flipped it over and he's kind of like spinning on his head now but yeah that's definitely a thing now the very last thing that we're going to be going over here is going to be the shiny pet and that is us spending these 1300 gems that we have to go after one of these shiny pets before we do that though i do want to explain to you guys that there is three separate methods for you guys to be able to get your hands on a shiny pet the first one is obviously through the crates you can actually open this and you have a 0.5 percent chance of hatching your very own shiny pet the second method is actually leveling up one of your pets all the way to level 250 and that will instantly turn it into a shiny and then the third and final and obviously the most obvious one is to use the brand new trading circle and maybe pay someone an x amount of gems in exchange for one of their shiny pets but anyways man i need you guys to wish me a lot of luck here because this is going to take quite a bit of time so i'm obviously not going to sit here and show you guys every single one of the openings but you best believe that once we get it i will definitely show you guys that part but let's see we're opening up now our very first crate can we get no way oh my god we just came so close yet so far to getting that shiny that's all right we're now moving on to crate number two and i'm starting to feel good about this look at that two exotics we're getting close even though we're getting straight commons i feel it we are getting close and another common okay i can already tell that this is not gonna go well all right we got ourselves an epic not too bad level one reindeer oh okay an exotic level one seal don't mind if i do but it's not what we're looking for we're looking for a shiny dude another exotic are you serious so i'm assuming that what we're trying to go after here is more than likely going to be a shiny seal correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but isn't that the very best pet that's in the game so getting that shiny would just be absolutely insane all right so i'm now down to my last two spins i feel confident that i'm going to be able to get this the last one has to be a charm it just it just has to be you know this is the shiny one i can feel it in the air <clears throat> it's a common all right that's perfectly fine you want to play this game we can play this game i'll just go ahead and get some more gems mark my words these 750 gems are going to get me one shiny i'm confident about it i can feel it i'm more than confident about this oh my lord why oh oh no 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 why couldn't you st 
stop on this shiny dude all right guys well uh unfortunately many robux later and i have not gotten a single shiny unfortunately i'm down to my last 50 gems here so this is going to be our final spin if we get it here i am going to be so happy but i know i'm not going to and we got ourselves an epic snake well on the plus side we did go ahead and get ourselves a level one seal a level one cheetah also have a level two snake level two walrus level two reindeer and then everything else is uh just kind of like you know whatever but man talk about super unfortunate it is not easy at all to get one of these shinies so yeah guys unfortunately i wasn't able to go ahead and pull a shiny for you but if any of you out there were actually able to go ahead and pull a shiny let me know in the comments if so also make sure to let me know which one in specific you got Ooh, an emerald tower but like always man that's gonna go ahead and do it for today's video remember if you enjoyed it drop a like i would really appreciate that but i will go ahead and see you guys in the next one take care